Hello, and welcome to another NetApp Cloud video for NetApp Cloud ONTAP and On Command Cloud Manager. In this video, we're going to show you how you can quickly deploy a new On Command Cloud Manager system. This can be done in one of two ways. First, we can go to NetApp's software download site. We'll go to support.netapp.com. And here we can click on Downloads and Software. Once we do this, we do need to log in with our NetApp ID. And then scroll down until you find the on-command Cloud Manager software. Select the platform, which will be Windows. Go through the other screens to go ahead and pull down that software to put onto your machine of choice, be that in your private cloud or on-premises data center or on an EC2 instance you already have in your Amazon account. The other method for deploying Cloud Manager is from the AWS Marketplace. Once you're there, you'll search for something like NetApp, Cloud ONTAP. I'm going to search for NetApp Cloud. And here I can see I've got several different offerings. The one that I'm interested in the most right now is the first one, On Command Cloud Manager. So I'll simply click on that entry. And here I can see the information for On Command Cloud Manager. Product details, I can go and see a product video if I would like, look at the reviews, some other recommended products, and where to find more information, the different resources for Cloud Manager and Cloud on Tap, as well as dedicated support sites to help me if I have any questions. So this is the entry that I'd like to use. I'm going ahead and click on continue. And here I can provide the information on where I would like to launch my Cloud Manager system. The region, the EC2 instance that I'd like to use, my networking settings in that region, the subnet within that virtual private cloud, the security group, either one that I have existing, or if I don't have one, one will be created for me. Uh, the ports that will be open will be RDP, HTTP, and HTTPS. First and foremost, Cloud Manager is a user interface. We need the HTTP and HTTPS ports to be open in order to access the web server. Also, RDP is recommended in case you want to access the system. Along with that, you'll identify a key pair file that you would like to use if you're going to access that system. With the most recent release, Cloud Manager has been made available for the Frankfurt region. So that's where we're going to deploy this one. And when we're ready, we'll click on Launch with one click. And our Cloud Manager instance is now being deployed in our Amazon account. As we can read, the instance will be available in roughly two to three minutes. We'll go ahead and let that deploy and go to our Amazon EC2 console. Here I can see I have one running instance. Let's click on that. And here are some of the details. This is my Cloud Manager system. It's still initializing, so we'll speed up this part. Our system is now initialized. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to give it a name, Cloud Manager. And we now need to go and finish the setup. Cloud Manager is already deployed on this instance. We just need to complete the configuration. We will access Cloud Manager by one of its IP addresses, either the private IP address from within the Amazon network, or if we have a public IP address, we can use that. I do have one assigned. I'm going to simply copy this one, paste that into my address bar, and we're taken directly into the on-command Cloud Manager setup wizard. We simply have to go through the steps, provide the information, and we're done. So let's get started. First, we need to agree to the terms and conditions and the end user license agreement. Read through that, click the box, then go to the next step. Next is proxy setup. If you're connecting to your Amazon networking from your private data center over VPN, it's most likely that you'll be using a proxy server. If you are, simply put that information in here. Next, let us know who you are. You need to create an admin user, so provide a name, email address, and a password. And then click continue. Next, this is where we can provide our AWS credentials. This is where we have an IAM user with appropriate policies and permissions. 
If I need to find out more information, I can click on the link here, and I'm redirected to a page that includes information about the IAM policies for OnCommand Cloud Manager. I can click on one of the selections for how I'm going to use Cloud Manager, either with Cloud on Tap only, with NetApp Private Storage only, or a combination. I already have one set up, so I'm going to go ahead and put in my access and secret keys. I'll confirm that my IAM user conforms to the Cloud Manager IAM policy requirements. And I can also provide a cost center S3 bucket if I'd like to look at the reports. I'm going to do that at a later time. Now we will create our first tenancy. This is so we can organize our working environments within Cloud Manager. And a cost center. This is where I can provide a cost center if I want to associate all of the cloud resources for reporting purposes. This is where I could use something like OnCommand Insight to leverage those annotations. Continue. And my NetApp support site credentials. If you already have a NetApp ID, this is where you can enter that information. So when you create new cloud ONTAP systems, they're automatically registered for support. We'll cover that in a later video. I'm going to just continue. And that's it. Cloud Manager is now ready to start launching our cloud ONTAP systems. That's all we wanted to show you for this video. We hope you found it helpful and have a great day.